surprise review. Um, Apex Legends, uh, a game that I've been playing a lot recently in between Resident Evil 2. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. Up until this game came out, uh, up until I started playing this game, I struggled severely to get into this whole battle royale trend that's been going on. You know, I, I hated PUBG. I tried PUBG on the Xbox One. I thought it was fucking trash completely. I thought the controls were clunky as hell. Um, I thought the gunplay was as belt. It, it, it felt so fucking outdated. It felt like I was playing like a, a 1999 game. Um, I tried Blackout for Black Ops 4 uh, when it was free that one weekend or something. I think it was free for like, I don't know, three days. And I, I couldn't get into that either. I never tried Fortnite and I don't really want to because I'm not really interested in Fortnite and building things and and stuff like that. I'm just not, in, I'm, I'm not interested in that. Um... So I tried Apex Legends out, which is free to play, entirely free to play. There are, you know, microtransactions, but they're not, they're not really integrated like they were in Battlefront 2, you know, where you needed them in order to have an advantage. Um, but I am loving it so much. <laughs> I, I hate this genre, but I love this game. And I think the only reason why... I've hated it up until this point is because Apex Legends is the first game to make Battle Royale right. It's the first one that really feels polished to the max. It's the first one that feels solid. Um, Respawn Entertainment is a great studio. They made the Titanfall games and those are exceptional first person shooters. Those are uh, just the most polished you can get from playing a first-person shooter. Titanfall 2 especially was was uh, phenomenal. Um, so these guys are behind it, you know? Um, so they're very experienced with, with first-person shooters, and this game kicks ass. I mean, it 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 it, it teabags the shit out of PUBG. Okay, I, I'm not I'm not sure about Fortnite, but as far as PUBG and Blackout con is concerned, this is so much better, so much better. Um, I'm gonna get right into the gameplay. Um, you start out with like six to eight different characters. Um, th there are two locked characters that you can unlock through uh, progression and earning points and unlocking them with those points. You can also buy points with the microtransactions, of course. But I've decided just to, you know, just to play and keep playing until I can unlock them. Anyway, th there are six starting characters and each one has very unique abilities. There's this one guy who, um... His name's Bloodhound, and he's like a recon. He's like the recon character of this game. And he can, like, snoop out enemies, like, really easily. He has this predator sense that highlights every enemy in red and every enemy footprint in red. So it makes it a lot easier to track and find enemies. It also makes you super fast and, and much harder to hit. Um, there's also... Another guy with a decoy, where he activates a decoy that runs across and, and fools opponing, uh, ugh, opposing uh, players. There's also this really badass goth chick who can... She can, like, teleport. She can create from and to teleports so that in case you get ambushed by another squad, you can just immediately go back in the teleport and, you know and escape, basically. Um, each of these characters are really cool. I've currently been playing as the, um, the, the girl with the Jamaican accent. Um, she, she kind of reminds me of Hermes from Futurama. Um, Lifeline, that's her name, Lifeline. She's a healer. Um, there's another robot, there's a robot character who's a healer, too. Um, so, you know, you have, like, the offensive groups, the support groups, uh, the, the recon groups, and another one that I can't really think off the top of my head. Um, the, the defensive groups, I think. Um, like, the, the, the big, the big guy. 
they're all really awesome characters, and it kind of reminds me of Overwatch, where they all have these unique, distinctive um, characteristics, uh, different um, skill sets, and they're all very useful uh, in a certain way. There's not one character in this game so far that I've played that I didn't feel was useless. They all had a great use to them. Um, so that right there is something that no other Battle Royale game that I've played has. It has actual, you know, character creation, not, not creations, character selections, and that gives you your kind of your own edge there. You don't just drop in a map with nothing. You, you have abilities from the get-go, depending on the character that you have. Um, when it comes to dropping, you, uh, you always start out in a squad in this game. It's not... You're always in a squad. It's never a solo uh, battle royale like it is in, in PUBG. I know some people prefer it to be solo. I personally love cooperative experiences, and I love the cooperative battle royale that this game is. Um, uh, you start off... You're either a jump master or you're one of the other two players. Uh, each squad has... Three players, and I believe there's 20 squads, so 60 players total in the game, as opposed to like 99 or 100 um, in other battle royale games. And also, the map I don't think the, I don't think the map is nearly as big as other battle royale games. Um, so matches last a lot um, less. Uh, they don't last as long as you know PUBG or anything, but. You, you guys can, like, suggest where to go first, and then the the jump master will be like, okay, let's go there. Or, if you don't like where you're going with your squad, you can also disband and go your own way. So it kind of gives you this freedom where, you know, would it be a better idea for me to stick, stick with my squad, um, or would it be a better idea to go to a place where I, I think may have better loot, and then quickly go back to my squad after I find what I find. So there's that um, there's that you know strategy thing to it, where you kind of have to decide what to do. Even if you're in a squad, um, you can decide really where to go. W w which is something that you can do in uh, squad PUBG. But in this game. I, I just find the gameplay to be so much more fast-paced and just... It, it feels like Titanfall. It feels like Titanfall without the Titans, you know, but the gameplay, it's very fast and just fluid, and it's easier to shoot, and it's just easier to get into. Um, it's very accessible. I suck at Battle Royale games. I suck at Battle Royale games, but... I can feel myself getting better at this game because it's made right. It's not buggy. It's not um, clunky. It's just, uh, it's made very well. The only complaints that I have is that once in a while the servers may crash or something or the game may lag and it you'll feel like you're moving, like you, you've just been hit by a freaking cryogenic grenade like you're you're slowing down because your body's freezing or something even though it's just lag but you know some nitpicking things i have with the game um other than that yeah it's an exceptional game i have no intention on stopping because it's fun it's just it, <laughs> that's what games should be right games should be fun and it's not like one of those games where like i won't enjoy it if i'm sucking at it because that's how fun it is. It's one of the few games where, like, I won't hate it if I'm bad at it, you know? You know how a lot of people, when, when they suck at it and they're not learning, they get frustrated with it? With me, I'm just like, oh, shit, I'm like the second person to die this match, you know? Well, that, that was quick, you know? And then I just I just move on to the next match, and that's it. And, you know, with, with other Battle Royale games, you know, I, I, I get shot from, like, a mile away in PUBG, not knowing you know, where it came from, and even if I did, there's no way I could possibly shoot the guy from that far away, because the controls fucking suck. Um, with this game, I'm getting better and better at it, and I'm starting to kick ass sometimes. Sometimes I do terribly, but, you know, it is a little luck-based when it comes to Battle Royale games and what you what you find. 
Um, but I'm getting better, you know? I'm progressing. I'm my, my skills are getting better because the game is good enough to really allow me to adapt um, to its gameplay. You know, it's, it's very accessible. Like I said, it's easy to learn and somewhat hard to master. That's what makes a game great. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not too sure what else to say, really. It's a, it's a great, it's a phenomenal Battle Royale game. It's probably the best Battle Royale game there is yet. And ironically, it's one that's free entirely. Uh, I tried... I, I, I confess that one time I tried playing Fortnite, but um, for some reason it wouldn't let me in because I, I didn't have like a pack with me or something. I think I have to like buy something to actually play it. It's not entirely free. Um, with Apex Legends, you just go right in and it's the best Battle Royale game yet. Um, so for those of you like me who struggled really hard to get into the battle royale genre i highly recommend trying this out because it's super fun even if you don't like multiplayer games like say if you only like first person shooters you know because i i'm more of a single player guy myself and there are very few multiplayer games that i really like to play and this is surprisingly one of them i highly recommend you try it out um whether you're a fan of the genre or not you never know because it all has to do with how the game is made and how well it's made. And then you'll play it and be like, oh, wow, this is a lot better than that last one I tried playing that was a piece of utter shit. So yeah, my final score for it would probably be like a 9 out of 10. Like, it's free. And it's by far one of the best games of this year so far. It's hilarious, but it's true. It's free. And it's better than most games out right now that aren't free. So I have to go back to play more Apex Legends because I want to. Thank you very much for watching. And, um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, you can keep watching this video. Or you can download it right now and play it. What are you waiting for? Get to the dropship now! The Gamer Gods. Damn! Put that cookie down!